Hello. Yeah, yeah, come in. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, day 13 today and my presentation on the 16 prosperities. And uh, we're going to look at uh, prosperity number 13. I, I, I still can't believe that we already reached 13, eh? because that's really, really fast, you know. And uh, it is so good to be again with you guys today. And I'm so sorry about yesterday we had it at 9, but today we are back at 8 o'clock. And today we're going to talk about uh, prosperity number 13, which is in Tamil is known as Nal Ulukkam. Nal Ulukkam, but um, in English is about good character, you know. So as you know, we have talked about 16 prosperities, including land, including material comfort, including a lot of things. But today's, today's one is about good character. I think many of you know that you know, uh, you, you out there, you'll see a lot of um, people who are rich or drive a big car or very successful. Um, you know, big shots and some dattos and tantris and whatever. But but you sometimes look at them and you tend to think about what kind of character they have, what kind of um, attitude they have, what kind of um, behavior they have. And you tend to have not much of respect for people. Yeah. So I think that's the reason why um, good character is considered as one of those prosperities. Because there's no use for you to have um, all these material things in your life if you don't have good character, you know. And I think that that is uh, very, very powerful because, um, you know, though the, that we're talking about 16 prosperities and this 16 consists of things like gold, material comfort and things like, you know, land and all. But it also consists of good character, you know, like we talked about yesterday about good children. Okay? So it also talks about you as a good character and you, whether you have that character to be considered as someone who's very successful in life. Because when you talk about prosperity, prosperity means like you're prosperous. That means you're, I mean, it's so good. Huh? But but what what but what if you don't have the right character? And character doesn't mean that, uh, you know, just doing all kind of nonsense there. But simple way you behave, simple way you talk, and uh, that will also show your your character. You know? So I think that, that when 500 years ago, when they came up with the 16 prosperities, they're not just looking at uh, material stuff. They're looking at, an all-rounded person, someone who has got everything in life. That's why they say 16. Like tomorrow, I'm going to talk about health. Um, so health itself is a prosperity, you know, uh, being healthy, you know. So I think it is so good, you know. That's why I, I'm so happy that I'm doing this talk of 16, because it really, really talks about an all-rounded person, someone who has got every part of their life taken care of, you know, so that they could be considered as prosperous, Yeah. Anyway, so um, I want to I want to tell you a story, and then maybe you can tell me about who of the three has got good character. Okay, that will help help you understand. Sometimes character-wise, you need to see that part of it. Huh? This guy, uh, his house was flooded, and uh, because of the flood, there's so much of dirt and so much of uh, rubbish and mud in his house, lah. Okay, so full of filth, you know, no, muddy and you know, poor fella, lah. You know, and um, so his house is particularly got flooded. So all the neighbors all came. So three neighbors came. All three are very well-to-do neighbors. Three neighbors came. And the first neighbor said, oh, my God, I'm, I'm so sorry to see what you have. Let me call my company and whether I can get some workers to come and help you to clean. First of all. So you must tell me. I mean, you don't have to tell me, but I want you to think. Huh? Is this a good character? Okay. Calling his company and says, you know, I want to call my workers to come and help you. Second guy, he says, oh, my God, you know, there's so much of dirt and all. Do you know, I have all the tools in my house, you know, the, the shovel, you know, the mop and that whatever. And in fact, even I have a mini bulldozer, a small excavator, not bulldozer, excavator. You can actually use it to clean all the dirt in there. Please, 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 please come and take all the tools from my house and you can clean your house. That's the second guy. The third guy, he saw the house and said, oh, my God. He says, then he pulled his shirt and pulled up his pants and said, what can I do? How can I help you? Come, come, let me help you now. And he started to clean the dirt together with the owner of the house. Now, three fellas, all three were helpful. But who has got the best character, the good character? I think you know the answer. It's the third guy because he just turun padang, as we say. He went in on the field and started to help. And that exactly is what we talk about in terms of good character, I, in my opinion. Anyway, you know, when, I, when I'm doing all this, and there's a lot of... Um, very, very uh, prominent people have spoken about 16 prosperities, you know. I am nowhere near them, okay. 
I am just doing this 16 problem in my own interpretation, you know. And in my interpretation, I think the third guy is the guy who has got what you call a good character, okay? Because he was willing to help. Now, as normal, what, how, and why, okay? So what is good character, okay? Uh, according to the dictionary, it says the mental and moral quality of someone to do the most appropriate thing because it's the right thing to do. I repeat, huh? the mental and moral quality of someone who needs to do the appropriate thing as it is the right thing to do. Now, there's another definition. There's a quote that says, um, a good character is someone who is uh, do who do things when nobody is looking. Do the right things when nobody is looking. You know, a lot of people will do right things when people are looking. You know, about people who, you know, donate food and take picture and put up and donate. Actually, the ones that is really, really I admire is the people who donate food but don't put it anywhere. Don't tell the whole world about it because they know God knows and the soul knows, you know. I'm not, sorry, and for those of you, you know, who put posters and put pictures about you donating food, I'm not saying anything, right? at least you are better than people who don't even give. So I respect you for that. I don't mean any disrespect at all. But I think it is important for you to understand when you talk about good character, it's for someone to do something right and nobody knows about it. And nobody's looking at it and you're doing it right. And that is what you're good at. In fact, yesterday something happened. Uh, I had a very good friend in Penang. She lost her wallet. Okay. And uh, so she called me up. She spoke to me. She wanted to do Ho'oponopono for the wallet. And she said, how do I get it back, Anna? You know, I said, I write your name and, you know, do the Ho'oponopono. Girl, you, let's hope that, you know. She said, Anna, I don't want the money. I just want at least my credit card, my debit card to come back, my IC, my driving license, so I don't have to apply. So, you know, Anna, please, you know, she lives in alone. Then, uh, but her house address, everything is her father's house address. Lah. And um, that evening, that evening, somebody actually dropped the wallet in a, in a, in a letterbox in the father's house. And she's so excited, you know, she's like, oh my God, oh my God. I, I think that's good character because, you know, someone who actually found the wallet actually went and dropped it into the letterbox and didn't even wait to see, didn't even wait to talk, nothing, just dropped it and went off, you know. And that's good character, okay? Anyway, um, there are 10 things that I can talk about in terms of character under the what is character, good character. Honesty, high integrity, uh, always keeps to the promise, very loyal in, in their job. They are very loyal to the job, very loyal to everything they decide they will do. Responsible person, pursues excellence. Someone with a good character is one who pursues excellence. You know? They never stop studying. They never stop on something. They just go all out. They are not lazy. They are very hardworking, pursues excellence. Very kind and caring person. Uh, treats everybody equally. By gender, they don't care, male or female. By religion, they don't care what religion. By race, they don't care what race. They, by citizen, they don't care. They treat everybody equally. You know, that's that's a very person with a good character. Um, encourages a lot of people. Every time when somebody talks to this person, he, he or she is encouraging, very motivating, very inspiring. That's good character. And one last one is uh, 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 this, this good character is a person, a friend, uh, in need. I mean, whenever you have something yeah, you need, you can go to this person. That is a person of good character. I mean, people trust you, people come to you because they know you'll help, whether it's uh, just listening or whether it's um, financial help, whether, but just being able to have that help, you know, and I think that is good character, okay? According to what is good character in the terms of the prosperity we're talking about, right? Now, how do you acquire this good character? Now, I really don't have to tell you this. I think a lot of it got to do with your upbringing, your parents and you know, who who you, you know, that kind of thing. But I just want to run through 10 things that will tell you about how you can acquire good character. If let's say if today onwards, you want to look at this as a serious way to get prosperity, okay? Now, my parents are rubber tappers. So some of the things I'm going to share with you are things that I have picked up along the way. My parents have taught me a lot of good things, lah, but I also got to know a lot of good other things from the things I'm going to share with you today. Um, so it's not just about what the book says or what I, you know, I'm just sharing with you things that I feel is very important. I also teach this when I do my programs. When I do training programs for companies, and I always tell them, okay, these are the 10 things you need to do if you want to develop a good personality, a good character, okay? Number one is you need to identify what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. You need to identify, that's definitely can. You need to look and say, okay, what are my strengths? My strengths are very patient. My strengths are, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. All your weaknesses could be, oh, I'm very, I get angry very fast, you know, I'm not very honest, you know, I, you know, I, I you know, I, I'm very selfish. I, I don't know what it is. So, so first thing you must do is to identify 
And of course, you've got good characters, keep it up, sell good and good. But if you've got bad ones, you don't have to tell the whole world. You need to do something about it so that by the time you you know you live in this life and you pass on, you have actually accumulated good characters, one of your um, uh, prosperity. I'll tell you why it's a prosperity later, but I want you to understand. So number one is identify your strengths and weaknesses and focus on your weaknesses. If you already know you're a high, you know, you get angry very fast, if you already know that you know you're lazy, if you already know that you know um, you're the type you give up easily, then you know you need to correct that because good character means all that must be uh, eradicated. Now, nobody is perfect. I, I have my own weaknesses as well. I'm always trying to improve my weaknesses as well. But I think it's important for you to understand that you are pursuing that 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 goal to make sure that you create that good character. Um, so number one, identify your strengths and weaknesses. Number two, be a learner. Be a learner means continuously now learn to become a good person. Continuously become a, a learn to become a good person. How do you do that? Two things. Okay, A and B. A, read a book every day, 15 minutes a day. Read a book. Just find a book that you, throw, like Awakening the Giant Within You by Anthony Robbins or The Monk Who Sold the Ferrari by Robin Sharma or Who Will Cry When I Die by Robin Sharma, you know. I mean, there's so many books like you can, you know, uh, you can just pick up any of these authors and read the book. And when you read the book, read 15 minutes a day every day. When you read 15 minutes a day, it becomes a habit. When you become a habit, I, I, I've been doing this for 30 over years. Huh? I read every day a book 15 minutes a day. That's how I picked up the reading habit. Now I've got thousands of books in my house. But it is something that I've learned to do. I mean, a lot of people say, I don't like to read. I Listen, I don't care whether you like or don't like. But if you want to have this as a prosperity, then you need to read. That's what I'm saying, Shelly. Eh? So read, and of course, we given the current scenario of social media. You can also go into YouTube, uh, or you can go into social. YouTube is the best, where you look for audios to listen. Listen to Robin Sharma, listen to Anthony Robin, listen to Dale Carnegie, listen to Norman Vincent Peale, listen to Katigeshu Sivalingam, you know, or watch the videos, you know. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I had to throw that in, but, you know, I'm just saying. But you can actually watch the videos, or you can listen to the videos um, and audios and, and, and develop the character. If you feel that you're not good, at, you're not persistent, or if you really get angry very fast, then go and watch the video on how to calm yourself, how to be. A, so that will pick it up. That will become and create the right kind of character you have. Because at the end of the day, we all want to have a good life, correct or not? So it's very important. Yeah. Number three, yeah, is mix with the right people. I think it's very important. Characters are actually developed by people you mix with. If you mix with the wrong people who are forever gossiping, forever telling you negative things, I, I mean, honestly, you know. I don't like people who talk about politics. I don't like people who talk about negative things. I don't like all these people. As I've told you many, many times, I don't read news. I don't see news, nothing. And I don't like it. I don't like when people send me things about politics or things about COVID. COVID, I mean, information is fine. But this person died and that person died. And this is conspiracy. I don't like all that. Because I think it's important for you to understand. I, I believe in God. And I believe God will always will know how to take care of me as long as I'm a really good person. And I try to be a good person with good character, which I know. So based on that, I need you to understand that you need to choose who you mix with. Same thing with generally. You want to you go and tell somebody and say, hey, I want to do my MBA. Huh. You come on, like, old like this, every white hair, want to do MBA. Then you know it's not the right person. You know it's not the right person. But the person says, you know what? Yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, if you really want to do MBA, go and do la. But first, first of all, find out whether you're, you're going to pay money to do MBA. Check it out first. Make sure you want to do. Like the other day, somebody called me. I'm She's 49 years old. You know, I don't think she want me to tell her name here. Yeah? And she said, Anne, you know, I've been watching all your CDs and whatever. You know, I want to do my MBA. Even my, my, my family is not encouraging me. What do you think? I said, call me. So I spoke to her. But I asked her why you want to do MBA, what MBA you want to do. Then I told her, listen, go and do it. Go and do it. You have the money. You have the time. Go and do it. Because you never want to live in regret, you know. So I think it's important for you to mix with the right people so that they encourage you and guide you. And I will tell you something today, yeah. The, all those people who are following my Hope Ramadan program, a lot of these are the people that I will say you should be associated with. Why? Because they are amazing, because they're very disciplined. They do a lot of things that is to enrich their life. You know, and I, I think it's important for you to know who are the right people you mix with. Not only people who are following what I'm doing, but I'm generally telling you that you need to know that the person who's actually going to guide you is a person who has got the right character. Yeah? Be independent. Number four, be independent. Okay, independent means huh, don't be biased with anything. Don't go racial, go, don't go gender, don't go city, don't go. You want to you want to become a really good person with good character. You, remember what I told you? Everybody has got a soul and everybody has got God within them. Okay? And you treat everybody equally. 
You do not say anything in a racial way. Be independent, be unbiased. Number five, be a good listener. I've told you before, God gave us two years and one mouth so that we listen more and talk less. And if you want to have a good character, be a very, very good listener first. I, I sometimes I also don't listen. Even today I was talking to someone and the person said, you know, I, this is what I was trying to tell you the day, you know. Then I said, oops, okay, maybe I didn't listen. So I realized something that I too need to be a good listener. We all strive to be a better person, right? Okay. Uh, number six is self-control. That means you need to know how to control your emotion. Don't sick sick it, you know, mara sick sick it, mara macam, you know. Don't do the malatop. Don't do like a volcano, you know. So you got to do that. Body language. I think it's important for you to be able to have the smile, the body language. You know, you, you, because people look at you first, and if you long face, always angry, you know. So obviously, you people will judge you even before you actually talk to them. So take care of it. At least smile. At least smile. They always say, you know, you have, you know, it it, it takes uh, I don't know a certain number of uh, muscles to smile, but it takes so many muscles to frown. So why do you want to frown if you can smile? Um, number number eight is uh, self introspection. Always do an introspection about yourself, about how I can be a better person, how can I improve myself, what can I do, you know, uh, and, and do that. Intro, it's called introspection. Introspection means you do evaluation of yourself. Uh, you got angry today and you scolded somebody, then you think, okay, 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 I shouldn't do this. How do I improve myself? Okay. Uh, number nine, be fun. Be you want to be a type of person people want to be mixing with because you're so much of fun, you joke, you have a lot of, you know, uh, you know, you, you want to tell, you know, fun person, not always serious, 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 but fun person. And number 10 is be humble. Be humble. Um, it doesn't matter what what your level is, whether you're a doctor, whether you're, you know, like like people call me Dr. Kathy, I say, oh, please laugh. I, I'm just Kathy Gay, so I'm calling me Anna or whatever. But you know what? I don't need that. I did it. I did my doctor because I want to learn about Ho'oponopono. I wanted to know more. That's all. Not that I wanted to be a doctor. You understand or not? In fact, earlier in my life, people have come and offered me and said, uh, would you, you know, if you pay so much of money, you can get a doctor. You know, I, I said nothing the way. But the only reason I went to do my doctor is because I wanted to do a research on Ho'oponopono. You know, that's what I did. Yeah. So, but be humble. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about generally, you need to be humble. It doesn't matter what level. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you still, you're either cremated or you go into the earth. So there's nothing going to carry through. So no use having that kind of ego. Yeah. Okay. Let me finish off today's session by telling you why, why a good character is, is really a prosperity. Yeah. It's a prosperity because when you're good, you get good karma. And good karma means if you believe in afterlife, this will carry this karma for you as well as your family members. So I would want to be a good character person so that the karma is good for me. That's one. Number two is uh, when you do good things, people bless you. Oh, you're such a good person. Oh, my God. She's such a good person. Oh, my God. She really is helpful. That is good blessings for you. And that blessings will also cleanse your negative karma. One of the ways to cleanse your negative, you know, they say you want to cleanse your karma, you donate food. That's one way. But another way to cleanse your karma is to get blessings. And the get blessing means you need to be the type of person people want to bless and say, hey, good lah. I like this guy. He's very helpful. Uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it, it, why is it a prosperity? Because when you have good character and you have a good attitude, you attract a lot of um, abundance in your life. You attract a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, money, wealth. All will come to you when you are happy because your aura is so positive. And good character means your aura is very positive and your frequency with the universe is very good. When your frequency is very good, you attract. Um, number four, when you have got a good character, you connect to your soul. And when you connect to your soul, your communication with God improves. Meaning to say, whenever you want an answer, answer will come to you. You go to sleep saying, God, I want to know. That night, you'll get a dream. You'll get a sign. Something will come to you. I think many of you know, I've thought about this in my, one of my sessions. Yeah, But you like get signs from the universe to tell you what to do next, how to go about doing next. And that is because you're a good person. You're a good character. And the last one is, of course, being a good character means you carry a good name for your parents and your family generation. So I want always people to say, oh, he's Mr. and Mrs. Sivalingam's son, because I want my family to get a good name. And therefore, I'm a good person and a good character. And that's why it's a prosperity and prosperity number 13. So tomorrow at 8 o'clock sharp, I'll talk to you prosperity number 14, which is on health, Okay, which is on health. All right. And I've already decided what I'm going to do for September. 
from 1st of September until the 30th of September. And I'll announce that tomorrow, eh? what I'm going to do. Something to do with Ho'oponopono is going to be very exciting. I will be doing every day in the month of September from uh, 1st September to the 30th of September, 8 o'clock every day. I'll tell you what I'll do tomorrow. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, please be safe. Please take care of yourself. Uh, God bless you all. Love you all. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock sharp. Okay?